So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Neha and uh, we are back again with one of the most important interviews of the day. It's definitely going to inspire you all. So I have with me today Dr. Soham Pincha who scored a wonderful rank of 20 in the latest November INICT. Many, many congratulations Dr. Soham. So uh, how, how is that? Thank has, you ma'am. Has the feeling uh, gotten? How do you, how is it, how is the morning today? Uh, so the rank, uh, the result came quite late uh, on Saturday night and I was out with my friends. So, uh, it, I, I mean, I have only, I can only describe it as unexpected uh, mm -hmm. because uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't have words to describe it because uh, like I, I was getting uh, some colleges through NEET, but now like I can get into the central institutes in good colleges. So. Yes, that means a lot to me. Yes, it, it, it is reflecting on your face that happiness <laughs> that I, I'm sure it has all been the work of your dedication, devotion and determination. That's wonderful. Uh, so Dr. Soham, just tell us, um, have you appeared for INICTs before and the journey till now? How, how did it all unfold? Uh, yes, ma'am. So uh, the first INICT that I gave was the last November one because I was eligible for that during my internship. So uh, uh, I had quite hectic postings during that INICT in the my I had my rural postings. So I just gave it as a practice kind of thing, and uh, I had studied a little bit. So for that, uh, in that I got a rank of twelve hundred and sixty-three. So, uh, but uh, like I hadn't studied properly, and I knew that I could like do much better than that. So uh, since January, I have been studying sincerely. And my target was me NICT and then the NEET PG subsequently. Uh, but in me NICT, I got a rank of 806. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so again, I wasn't getting what I wanted in that. Uh, so in NEET PG, I got a rank of 455. Okay. And uh, so my uh, the branch that I wanted was radiology since my final year, I was uh, fixated on that. And mm -hmm. at that rank, I was getting radiology in a couple of good colleges. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, like after the result came out for NEET PG, I sort of slacked off a bit. Uh, I, I like I went on a couple of trips. I went out with my friends almost every day, uh, thinking that okay, this would be the last time that I'm I am that free uh, in my life. Uh, so I w did not think anything about this November NICET. But uh, I think the thing. Uh, that uh, actually all the things came into for, fell into place because the counseling for NEET PG got delayed. Yes. And because of that delay, I thought, okay, why not just fill the form for NICT and just give it a try? Because I have studied till NEET uh, uh, till August uh, in NEET, so I might just as well try because it's quite an unexpected exam, and let's see how it goes. And uh, it turns out it went like really, really well. So. Yeah, I'm thankful for all the things that fell into place for that. And yeah. finally, I got a rank of 20. Of course, you know, you, it said, no, that if you, if you like have a vision, you're dreaming of something and you work towards it. So that's amazing. Uh, so, um, and one more thing, how did, uh, you know, like, uh, it's an entrance exam and NICT is completely conceptual based. So how did we as a platform help you in your journey? What about the Q banks? Um, how useful did you find them from prep ladder? And are, were they like a simulation of what comes in the real exam? Uh, right. So uh, I think the most important part in your uh, preparation, especially the uh, final part is to have a consolidated um, uh, basically consolidated source of uh, information in yes. one place mm -hmm. and uh, it should be dense but it should not have uh, like a lot of reading or a lot of going through it should be more of a flow chart uh, and uh, images and all those things in a very concise form and I think that's where the revision notes uh, came in handy the LRR were very effective uh, in that consolidation part and the second thing that I would like to point out about prep ladder was uh, the PYQs. Now the PYQs are available in uh, almost everywhere, but like the prep ladder is, I think, the only place which provides your PYQs with uh, which are segregated even topic-wise 
inside the subjects so i think like after you suppose read a topic suppose for example preeclampsia in obs gynae you can just solve the uh, questions of about preeclampsia which have been asked previously and get a better understanding about what they ask in the exam so i think that uh, i think uh, helped me a lot and i think i uh, yeah and thank you very much for that no no that is completely our pleasure that you know we could be a part of your journey uh, so i'm one more thing see you have like what i noticed from your journey you've been progressing as we could see rank ahead all the time yeah you've gone yes, ahead yes, and ahead so uh, how much do you feel your preparation depends from during your mbbs time concept banana hai kitna zaruri hai or is it just that okay last minute a couple of months do you feel is enough to get a rank like this or you should and you must build your base from mbbs how did you do it yes ma'am so uh, i think this uh, the this thing is especially really really true for uh, an exam like inict mm -hmm. where the concept building uh, is all you need so and that thing can only be achieved if from your first year of mbbs you have been reading standard textbooks so uh, uh, it all depends i mean i was very lucky to be in a college where uh, the standard textbooks were the norm so our senior uh, so our seniors like always used to tell us okay, they, they used to give us markings from the standard textbooks as well so like i i think i have read robins i like i love that book so i read robins a couple of times in my second year and also i mean the standard text even gaitan and ganong like yeah there are inicet because uh, so i did my undergraduate from aims and there uh, the same people uh, sort of make the questions for inicet so that i think reading those books like give, makes you develop those concepts which even if you don't revise till the end they sort of somewhere stay with you uh, in your mind and i think that's what, what happened in my inicet in this november because i did not like revise everything before the exam uh but those like concepts came back to me immediately when i saw those questions so reading standard textbooks is like should be your number one priority during your mbbs yes exactly building that strong base and you know a couple of other students also mentioned the same that you have been saying that you have to have that concept and you have to go through the standard yes, textbooks and of course supplement it with the main videos during your mbbs time itself so uh, so i'm one more thing like you have done amazingly well any piece of uh, advice one thing that you want none of the students should miss out while they're preparing be it neat be it uh, even which could be helpful for our fmg students be it inicit any upsc aspirants any any one piece of advice uh, yes yeah, sure ma'am so uh, this uh, uh, this one thing that i saw with some of my friends as well uh, people uh, have a target like uh, okay i haven't prepared this uh, i am in my internship or i just completed my internship and now i am going to prepare for okay whatever the next pg need pg is uh, mm -hmm. but like you already have the inicet there and the thing that okay uh, like what's the point in giving the exam if i haven't studied but that's like completely untrue because uh, you you should give all the exams that are at your disposal uh so like uh, there are some people who are preparing for neat pg who are preparing for neat pg 2026 so they completely skipped this exam but uh, i think that one mistake uh, so you have multiple exams just give it it will give you an simulation of real exam it will also give you like how different are the questions from what you are studying what's your material and like what you need to actually focus on like is it the basic concepts where you are weak or is it those small small rote learning things i mean uh, that real world experience is like uh, very very uh, crucial for that so that one thing i would advise everyone not to miss out on yes that is this is something i've heard you know uh, from uh, for the first time from someone who's openly said that we should not fear from exams or matlab they do it adds to the experience and you never know Yes, you never know yes exactly so it was uh, so nice you seem to be a very humble and a uh, down to earth person we wish you all the very best from the entire family at prep ladder uh, may you thank reach more high as dr soham god bless you thank you for giving your time to us thank you so much ma'am for having me and thank you to the prep ladder team for uh, like easing my preparation a lot
so thank, thank you for so much for that thank you thank you